Muzzle loaders. What are they? How do you use one? Do I really have to go to Knit of Valir to get one? What are you doing? Well, I may or may not answer some of these questions in a meaningful fashion. Muzzle loader is something you can put on a dog to keep it from biting people. Uh, a muzzle loader is some crazy contraption used to apply muzzles to dogs. Uh, scratch that. A uh, muzzle loader is a pretty particular type of firearm loaded from the end of the barrel. Bullets, powder, and stuff get rammed into the end of the barrel, in, in the proper or order, of course. Then a flint or percu percussive detonator fires the bullet out, back out the end. I've got some muzzle loader parts, and I'm going to carve a new stock for them out of mahogany. This is going to be a multi-part video series, and I hope you find them interesting. Alright, so the original stock looks something like this. Um, I'm looking at a couple of varieties. The first option would be pretty simple. Here's the uh, brass, well, here's the brass plate, the brass butt, pocket patch, handle, triggers, action, rear sight, front sight, barrel holder, uh, front brass. So, uh, first concept is... Second option could include... Pistol grip of some variety about here. Alright, so the original stock looks something like this. Um, I'm looking at a couple of varieties. The first option would be pretty simple. Here's the uh, brass, well, here's the brass plate, the brass butt, pocket patch, handle, triggers, action, rear sight, front sight, barrel holder, uh, front brass. So, uh, first concept is, we've got the rear sight, and the front sight, and the front brass holder, and somewhere here the triggers, alright, make this go straight back bit of a drop here then straight back here So, there's one option. Second option could include... Pistol grip of some variety about here. Alright, here you can see the mahogany blank. I've laid out the parts here against my mahogany blank to get an idea of the visual layout. It's approximately where the parts are going to go in comparison to the part I'm uh, carving my uh, uh, new stock with. I've got a little tape measure. You can see it's a hair over five feet long. 61 inches, just about. The original stock, the 
It's got a butt plate, uh, side pocket pouch, some parts, uh, trigger guard, obviously the ramrod here, a um, little end cap. Uh, then you got the action mechanism here. Right about here is where the original barrel lock is and as you can see in the stock it only covers not quite half the barrel in the replacement I'm going to extend this wood piece all the way to the end here and move the barrel lock to about here from here so the barrel should be restrained a lot better this is a quarter inch O1 tool steel I'm going to use this to make a uh, custom uh, wood carving tool all right there I just cut this off with a uh, uh, Dremel and pro um, I guess the length it seems about right I just kind of measured it against one of the other wood chisels I have. Um, that should be about the right length once I get a handle added and work this up to a flat shape. Alright, well, on to the next step. Alright, I've got my propane torches set up and my rod here. Because fire's hot, I'm going to hold it with this uh, pair of uh, grips. I'm going to heat this up here. Pound it in my anvil shaped object which I have no idea if it's any good or not but it's metal and it's well it's metal over here I've got some um, uh, Mercon 5 transmission fluid for quenching bigger hammer sticks to a magnet. All right, so I've finished the sharpening. I've taken the Dremel and uh, smoothed this end, the inside edge out, just with a nice uh, grinder. 
ground in a rough edge with a Dremel here then follow it up with a uh, diamond sharpener and then a uh, stone and then um, on the other end I just roughed up the edge here so that when I insert that at, into the handle I'm gonna make here in a bit it'll uh, take to uh, uh, a bit of glue if I decide to add that and it should uh, stick very nicely alright and then I'm um, going to show you some of the uh, uh, shavings that this tool produces anyways make some pretty decent uh, wood shavings So I've got my handy wood saw here. I'm gonna cut me a handle for my new chisel. back on this or the blade cover rather that's the right word for it blade cover all right there's my rough shaped uh, chisel handle out of a piece of mahogany here in a bit I'm gonna sh uh, smooth the edges with a hand file There's my more or less shaped handle for my chisel here. Next thing, I'm going to drill a hole, insert it, and it'll look yeah, about like this. I don't have any actual technical wood boring bits, but uh, this one will work. Quarter inch hole for a quarter inch rod. Mm, more or less centered. Yeah, that's the end I want to have. Uh, shaft in. Oops. I put a put a gouge on my table. It's officially sharp. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, insert joke here. <laughs>